Welcome to Wine, Food and Flavour. Today, we're with Sander DeWalk, chef and owner of Cracker Cuisine, with his pop-up restaurant at Tap 5. A sit back and enjoy it at Tap 5 with one of their great beers or the fantastic Misty Cove wine. Here we got um, tonight. We're doing a little pop-up, a little pop-up um, restaurant, almost like at a local bar in town. at five steps. Deb is just making a, um, a little mussel velouté with a bit of garlic bread. Sort of mussels they from Heflock, just down the road here in Marlborough, Marlborough Sounds. And yeah, try to make a few little dishes. People just have a bit of fun, have a beer, glass of wine, try a bit of local food, and yeah. So here we go. Mills Bay Mussels, a mussel farm just outside of Heflock. So it's like the home of the mussels within the Marlborough Sound. So it's called Mills Bay. I'm just um, cutting up the onions here. The dice are doing fine. I'm gonna make, uh, so we're doing this arancini. It's like the vegetarian option for tonight. Because arancini is like you make a risotto base and you uh, pull it down, you make little balls, coat them a bit like breadcrumbs or polenta. I prefer the, the panko breadcrumbs, it's a bit, the polenta gets a bit hard, so traditionally it's polenta from Italy. But we'll use breadcrumbs tonight because I think it just tastes better. And you always want to go for taste instead of tradition, in my opinion. And tonight is with mushrooms, so quite wintry. We're using um, some porcini mushrooms, some field mushrooms and some butter mushrooms. There will be some uh, cranky goat's cheese, so they, they make an old tom. It's like a cranky goat that make goat's cheese in a Marlboro sound. And this one is the winter option, so it's, um, it's a ripened cheese. It's a bit harder, but you, we use it as like a kind of parmesan tonight. So. And then with like a little aioli with some porcini through it. So little balls, we'll see tonight. Scoop it up. Glass of Mystico of wine. Can't go wrong. This is about 2 kg, so we'll do the whole bottle, eh? I've got more. Alright, the arancini is almost done. Yeah, this is the pork, so it's from down Cheviot on the way to uh, the Christchurch. So this is um, pork mince, we're just gonna fry it off, quite high heat, roll it out, get the fat stays in there, but just get rid of the moisture, and, like cook it out with some spices, and it will go on top of a little uh, cauliflower puree, with some crisp breads, the ones we're making here in the oven. So we're gonna place them with a bit of garlic and it's just like scoop it up. It's a bit like chips with like you get a bit of cauliflower with a bit of parsnip and then the mince. So it's a nice bite. A nice bite with a nice find. Can't go wrong. All the 
prep is done now. All we have to do is sit back and enjoy it at Tap 5 with one of their great beers or the fantastic Mystico wine.